the lesson can be learned. You can sit there and make all the excuses why you can't go fishing. Don't let, oh yeah. Oh, look at that fish. Don't let weather slow you down. This is why we have nice ice armor clothing. That's right. We have shelters. We have the nice fishing rods. We have everything that you need to get out. It doesn't matter if it's raining. It doesn't matter if it's below 900 or if it's 20 below, you can go fishing. Yeah, look at this. Look at that hog belly. Nice. Let's go fishing, boys. Well, we are going to catch them no matter what, so game on. Well, let's unpack and let's go fishing. All right, All right let's do it. Lake Winnipesaukee, baby. Wow. If you're looking to put hog bellies like this on the ice. What do we have there? <laughs> That's another fat one. <laughs> Look at this one. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Look at that one! Oh yeah! Look at this thing! It's so cool! It's nice. a giant. That is oh my welcome God. to Devil's Lake, brother. <laughs> Matt, right here, buddy. <laughs> nice. Way to close out the show. <laughs> Well, a start to another adventure, and this is the farthest across the ice belt show that we've uh, done from home uh, of Minnesota. We are in New Hampshire fishing with uh, Ice Team Pro Tim Moore. And through our whole flight yesterday, we had pouring rain, and it rained through the night, so we have a little bit of a late start, um, but we're super excited to be here with you. I'm excited, yeah. Warm, it's, it's definitely warm. It's gonna be 50 degrees today, which that's just been the kind of winter it's been. Yeah. You know, we just adapt. And Keep on going. Excited to be here in uh, New Hampshire. Thanks for having us. My pleasure, it's an hey, honor. Hey, the motto here is live free or die. You know what I'm gonna do? Live free? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish free, <laughs> but maybe get out fished a little bit by the old pro here. So excited to be here in New Hampshire setting the hook. This is the spot, huh? We hope so. <laughs> man, what a beautiful drive. Oh, not a super far drive, but a, man, we got the landscape behind us. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Uh, and, you know, luckily we have a lot of access points. Yeah. We're fishing in a basin today. Hopefully these fish from here. We're gonna, you know, get the auger out and, you know, we have Chuck, Tim's partner in crime here, helping us out with snowmobiles and travel and all that stuff. And um, so this is a, a dilly, which is kind of like a night crawler, it's just a smaller night crawler, essentially, correct? Yes. And the blade spoon here in New Hampshire, you can't use treble hooks, so Tim has cut the two barbs off, and all I have is a single hook. And so you're saying the key is to just kind of hide that. Yeah. Hide that one single hook. Yeah. So we just put enough bait to hide the hook. Yeah. And just that like that. Tail that's sticking off, you can actually pinch that off because if there's anything for them to get a hold of. They'll do it. They're masters of stealing bait and they'll slide that whole worm off your hook. Right. So just like that, that's good. That's good. Perfect. All right. First drop. It's always good when you have fish on the screen on the first drop. Tim, Tim thinks they're probably uh, yellow perch. So there's yellow perch that swim here and white perch. And there's actually even lake trout in this body of water. So, so let's see if we can. Yeah, here comes one already right here. Try to learn the trigger here. I have two on the screen already. So the white perch, are they normally fairly aggressive? Is it a keep away move or is it? Generally, the bigger they are, the lighter they bite. Got ya. Until they get, if you fire up a school, then yeah. they pretty much just start trying this to This one's gonna eat it, it, Joe. This one's gonna eat it. Oh, dirty dog. This one's gonna eat it though. Watch this. Now I got him fired up. Now I got him fired up. Now I got you figured out. Look at that, just like that. <laughs> Welcome to New Hampshire. <laughs> Oh, I love hook sets. Look at this thing. I mean, we've been at it for two minutes and I got them fired up and Timmy doesn't even, oh yeah, look at the digger. Put a line in the water yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Welcome to New Hampshire. You can grab them there. Look at that. That is a cool, cool fish. On the, on the blade spoon, yeah. which is a, a, a tremendous spoon everywhere. And this is the white with the silver. You said that's the best color. It's my favorite color, yeah. So tell me about the white perch because most of the people that are watching these probably have never ever heard of a white perch before. Yeah, so 
Uh, Kevin Paul's gonna laugh at me, but they're not really perch. Yeah, it's a bass family. It's, yep. Yeah, they're, they're members of the temperate bass, so white bass. They're most closely related to striped bass. Yep. They're originally a saltwater fish that migrated into the Great Lakes when they built the Erie Canal. Yep. And have since, I got it, since moved around and, uh, you know, different different forms of dispersion, you know, duck wings or whatever is a yeah. lot of the big theories that bucket biology and things like that. Should we get them back in the water? Yeah, here, let's just, whoop. Oh. The handoff wasn't very good. That's kind of like New England's football team fumbling. But here, why don't you just show everybody? Hey, you forget where you are. Yeah. <laughs> if you can show the camera just just like this here, I'm gonna grab them here, Tim. Just so so you can kind of look at the markings. Look look at how cool of an animal that is. My first white perch now, on ice. Turn him over and look at underneath his mouth. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful iridescent. Yeah. That's a defining characteristic of the white perch. Cool. I'm going to let him go. There she goes. Nice work. Man, if, uh, if that's any indication of how fun we're going to have, I'm ready for this game. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's some more. Let's get baited up again. Yeah, right Try on. get a line in the water. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Look, keep oh, away. Look at him go. Got oh, him. nice. <laughs> Same keep away move everywhere you go. You got him fired up down there. Yeah. Right? Hey, if you want to grab your rod and, and play the little... Uh, Whack and sack, I'll, I'll let this one go and you come drop down. Diggers, they are diggers, yep. Just like a just like a big giant Devil's Lake perch or Gogebic perch, they're diggers. And this isn't a big one. Cool, cool, cool animal. Across the Ice Belt has been brought to you by these great partners. Ice Team, the leaders in ice fishing education. Lake of the Woods Tourism, the walleye capital of the world. Arctic Cat, share our passion. Vexilar, own the ice. Thorn Brothers, custom rod and tackle shop. St. Paul Ice Fishing and Winter Sports Show. Maury's Brooklyn Park Nissan and Maury's Brooklyn Park Subaru. Your places to buy happy. What is the Blue X Factor? It's the quality that goes into all clam products and the difference that anglers expect. Better framework for the easiest setup on ice. Better design of our tackle to catch more fish. Better technology for the ultimate comfort and safety. Better fabric to withstand brutal conditions. Better products, better support, and the most knowledgeable pro staff in the ice belt translates into comfort, dependability, and success for ice anglers. That's the Blue X Factor. If customer service is something you appreciate, look no further than Thorn Brothers Custom Rod and Tackle Shop with a friendly staff that is willing to help assist you in all your fishing equipment needs. You won't find a larger selection of rods, lures, and specialty fishing gear. Looking for a new stick to set the hook with? Thorn Brothers Custom Rod Builders are the best in the business. Huge selection of hard to find equipment and across the ice belt approved. Thorn Brothers, located in Blaine, Minnesota or found online at thornbros.com. Maury's Brooklyn Park location is two dealerships on one massive lot. You'll find every new Subaru and new Nissan, so you can shop, compare, and decide. Both brands come with Maury's Buy Happy Promises. And now, a $300 Clam Outdoors gift certificate with every new or used vehicle. That's 300 clams to get ready for your outdoor fun. Only at Maury's Brooklyn Park Nissan and Maury's Brooklyn Park Subaru, your places to buy happy. That one didn't want it. This one does. Got him. Got him? Got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On fire. You said they don't start biting until the evening. I can't wait to see what happens then. Yeah. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> Move the Vexi out of the way. I saw that one bite from over there. I mean, we're only 10 feet away. Oh, smallmouth. Or smallie, cool. <laughs> That's Never a cool know. fish. Never know a no. Right in the bottom of the yapper. So that's a smallmouth bass. Do you have largies in here too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's more well known for its smallmouth bass fishery. But you catch a bunch of smallies and nice ones too, right? Yeah, yeah. We catch some three or four pounders through the ice on the humps. Yeah, cool. Let's let this see you later, Mr. Smalley. All right. 
Thank you, sir. What's next? White perch, smallie. White, white perch, yeah. Lake trout. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna go try to catch one. I'm gonna got your shirt dirty there. Got him. There's a digger. That's what I wanted to see. Ah! Hey, it's the white perch. All right. Look at that guy. I was really cool on the Vexlar. Uh, there was a ton of smelt on the in the basin. That smelt spooked out of there. This guy showed up. There's like three or four with it. So, cool. Nice. That didn't take too long after yeah. after you caught that bass. Yeah. You did promise me another fish, so. Hey, I'm here to deliver. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's what you've been doing, I mean, is being a fishing guide and. Yeah, that's the full-time gig. You know, it's a, it's a really good way to, to put the product in customers' hands and, and let them show them just how well it works. You know, it's not really so much about sales as it is showing people that how well these tools work that we use to help you catch more fish on the ice. And yeah. Guiding is one way that that we reach a lot of people. Yep. You know, with busy, busy winters, we reach a lot of customers and, and it works. Yeah. You have a, a little local television show that you work on and I mean, you do a ton of stuff for, for us with Big Tooth. You do, a, you do a ton of stuff for ice fishing as well. And yeah. I mean, the promotional work that you're doing is pretty amazing. I mean, you have a pretty awesome following. Yeah, it's, it is pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I had no idea when I started doing it that it would, that it would take off for me like this. And you know, it's between the the show on you know public TV and and um, YouTube that gets the word out a lot and a lot of writing yep. for you know columns for local magazines and some regional and occasionally a national piece here and there and yeah a lot of seminars I mean this winter I did 19 ice fishing seminars 19 19 Wow yeah. that's exciting it stuff yeah. it's so exciting cool well I'm excited to be here good. Rocky Rococo. They're pretty strong. They're so strong. I love catching these things. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good day, my friend. Yeah. We got a whole day ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah. I'm Should excited be. about getting up in the morning. Across the Ice Belt has been brought to you by these great partners. Reed Sporting Goods, Family Outdoor Outfitters, Excel Outdoors, Organize your life outside. Milwaukee Ice Fishing and Winter Sports Show. Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods. Ice Armor. And Clam Outdoors. We are ice fishing. Get ready for two huge shows for the ice fishing fanatic. It's the Ice Fishing and Winter Sports Show presented by Clam in St. Paul, December 2nd through the 4th at the St. Paul River Center and in Milwaukee, December 9th through the 11th at the Wisconsin State Fair Park. Attend 80 seminars by the pros. Shop exhibit after exhibit and save on the hottest gear for the world's coolest sport. Plus, enter to win the ultimate ice fishing giveaway. For more information, visit stpaulicefishingshow.com or milwaukeeicefishingshow.com. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilaw, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com.
Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast? Reed's has the best service, best advice, and best price guaranteed. This episode's tip from The Godfather with Dave Gens has been brought to you by Lake of the Woods Tourism, the walleye capital of the world. When I'm out ice fishing, I like to have more than one rod rigged up. I like a, a light action rod, this uh, ultra light actually, for my smaller lures, my lighter lures. Also a spring bobber works well with that. But when you use the heavier tungsten lures, I like to have a little bit heavier rod. You need that rod to get the proper cadence so that when you're when you're working that bait, it, it, it works that the rod tip isn't just going up and down. You're shaking, the, you're shaking that bait, which is really important with fishing a lot of different fish. Remember, it's really important to get a balance between the rod, the line, and the lure, and you'll catch more fish through the ice. For more tips from the pros, go to the new Ice Team forum at iceteam.com. We're going like 40 miles an hour out here. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, new day, there's new challenges. But we're gonna set the help shack up and uh, we're gonna fish. We're not gonna give up. No way. No way. Perfect, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, it's nice in here, isn't it? That wind is crazy rocking. Come on. Come on. Got him. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Get him. Yeah. Doggers. They're just doggers, aren't they? Doggers? Yeah, they're strong. Even the little ones are strong. Yep. The big ones are better. Do you need help there, Jeff? Yep, I can grab this one here. Oh, yeah, look at this nice. guy. Nice fish. Nice <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right. Oh, look at that. That's, that's I think that's my biggest one yet. Nice. Boy, we've had some crazy challenges with this weather. Rain yesterday. Oh, and, 50 degrees. And wind today. That thing is, that's a really beautiful one. We've been fishing in and out of the hub shack, and. That didn't take long. That's a nice one. Yeah. Well, let's let it go, huh? Yeah. Sweet. Another wave goodbye. Nice work. Man, got to uh, thank the old hub shack. I'm glad that <laughs> actually Chuck brought this. He had it in this trailer. Yeah. We uh, we don't give up, do we? No. No. No, we didn't come out here to give up. I mean, your life story, Tim, is uh, your testimony is pr pretty powerful. Life for you hasn't been always perfect. I mean, very similar to weather, right? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I uh, struggled with alcoholism at a young age, just about killed me really, and uh, took everything from me, you know, and statistically I really shouldn't be sitting here talking to you right now, I certainly, you know, there some, was a time in my life when I didn't deserve to be filming a television show or, you know, really uh, even allowed indoors for that matter, you know, yeah. so it's, uh, it's really, it's a blessing, you know, it, it's, it's not easy, alcoholism, you know, it, it, once it gets a hold of you, it can, you know, like I said, take everything from you, and it. Yeah, and you know, fishing has. You know, I've I've fished, you know, for as long as I could hold a fishing rod, but alcohol kind of took that away too. And there was a period in my life where I, I didn't fish, and then I I get sober, and you know, was able to kind of get my wits about myself, I guess, and yeah, uh, started fishing again, and, and it was actually ice fishing that I really started started doing uh, regularly, and and it just uh, it it brought me uh it put me in a place where I didn't. I didn't think about, uh, you know, wanting to drink alcohol, and I didn't think about, um, you know, the bad things that I had done in my behavior when I was drinking. And it just gave me some peace, and I, I started to notice that when I came off the ice, uh, I felt almost refreshed and, and renewed, you yeah. know, and it just made me, you know, I started to chase ice fishing really the same way I chased a bottle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I did all the same things that I was wishing alcohol would do, it never did. Yeah. <laughs> That's a powerful story, and I, you know, I think people are going to really appreciate you sharing that. And, and and people look up to you in the fishing world, but I also think people should look up to you in life and say, "Here's somebody who made a change." You know, because there's probably people that are watching this television show that are probably in the same position you were. Yeah, you know, I'm sure, yeah. And and, uh, and they, you know, they, you just need to know that 
there is there is opportunity there for you to get better and Tim you're a great example of that yeah yeah it's not the end of the world you know yeah uh, it doesn't matter what happens you know you can start over yeah you really can and rebuild and I'm proof I'm living proof of that Up high, that thing was moving fast, huh? Got him. Got him. Yeah, that was cool. Nice fish, huh? Cool. Cool. Good eater. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> hey! We're getting it. That was a decent fish. That was cool. Yeah. We're gonna catch him, bro. Oh, you dirty dog. Dang. And you know? Yep. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Let the guy clean up and clean it up. I missed oh. him. Yeah. It's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Dang it. He just touched my bait. I missed him, and you caught him. That was really cool. Look at how big yeah. that one is. Nice. Beautiful, tall animal. Yeah. And that one had the, the typical, you know, big circles. I could see it coming out down there. And, yeah. and I, you stole, well, you didn't steal it from me. I missed my opportunity. It's teamwork. Hey, it's teamwork. You bring your A game when you come to New Hampshire, right? <laughs> On a day like today, you do. Yeah, absolutely. Sweet fish. It's crazy. How fun is this? It's a blast. My turn to catch one like that. Yeah, that was awesome. And I'm not going to miss you next time, buddy. That's cool. <laughs> Get on it. Nice fish. Let that one go. Oh, there's a whole big school down. Oh, yeah. They're, oh, my God. Here, take your Vexlar. Got him. Oh, look at that. That's, that's a big that's one, too. a big one, too. yeah. I think we got some jumbos in here. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Uh, no. <laughs> We're on them now. The lesson can be learned. You can sit there and make all the excuses why you can't go fishing. Don't let, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that fish. Don't let weather slow you down. This is why we have, <laughs> this is why we have nice ice armor clothing. That's right. We have shelters. We have the nice fishing rods. We have everything that you need to get out. It doesn't matter if it's raining. It doesn't matter if it's below 900 or if it's 20 below, you can go fishing. Yeah, look at this. Look at that hog belly. Nice. Ice fish the famous waters of Lake of the Woods, the walleye capital of the world. There are 60 lodging facilities with everything from do-it-yourself to full-service resorts with ice fishing packages and American plans. Enjoy heated ice transportation to your warm and comfortable fish house or use one of our well-maintained ice roads or snowmobile trails. World-class ice fishing awaits you. For more information on lodging and ice fishing, go to lakeofthewoodsmn.com. The Jason Mitchell Elite Series Ice Rods and Ice Rod Combos are the most thoroughly designed species-specific rods on the ice. Designed oh, wow. with the input from some of the finest anglers from across the ice belt, these rods feature hypermodulus graphite for extreme sensitivity and are built with the highest quality components available. So whether you're finesse fishing panfish, spoon feeding walleyes, or chasing hard charging pike and lake trout, Jason Mitchell Elite Series has an ice rod designed for whatever you do. I got him. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. That was awesome. Nice. It's amazing how fast these fish come in. You know, we had that, you know, we got the hub shack set up and we had the craziness with the wind and we had a flurry of action. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And then it was slow for a little while. Yep. And you saw the smelt and then I saw it and then boom, I got one right at the top of it. Yeah, yeah, they, they're always on the move. Yeah. Yeah. From my uh, very first white perch to probably my very last white perch, thank you for sharing a wonderful place, a really, truly wonderful story. You're a wonderful human being, Tim, and uh, a wonderful fish. Well, thanks for coming all the way to New Hampshire, Jeff. It's, it's truly an honor to have you guys come all the way out here. It means the world to me. It's one of the highlights of my ice fishing career, so thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you for tuning in to Across the Ice Belt with Ice Team. I hope you guys enjoyed Tim's story. You got to know Tim a little bit more, and you got to know my new buddy, Mr. White Perch from New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah, there's a huge school down here. Whack and stack. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a nice one. It's dogging you. Nice one. Nice one. Nice. Look at the Boy. belly on that one. That one's yeah. must be feeding time because that one's been eating in the nowhere. Bob House, I think, a little bit. <laughs> must be that yeah, buoy burger. Yeah, the old buoy burger. <laughs> Hot lips. Wow. Let's get some more, shall we? Yeah, heck yeah. 
Man, they're so fun when they come through. Yeah, especially you, when they're feeding, they're even stronger, I think. Yeah, you could see that one shoot up from the bottom. I mean, it just closed the distance. There was no messing around. Nice. And repeat. And repeat, I got them on my screen now. Here they come. Oh, I just missed them. I don't have any bait on there, actually, but I'm gonna get them. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, wow, here he comes. Come on, eat it. Here he comes. Oh, I got one coming. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the school is in here. Look at this thing dogging. Look at this thing dogging. Just chowing. Look at this thing dogging. Yeah. Timmy boy, that's what it's about. Oh, you got one on your screen oh, too. Yeah. When they come in, there's a lot of downtime here that you're not seeing, but when it's on, it's game on. Absolutely game on. What a fun animal. I'm on. You're on too. <laughs> yes. Oh, mine was a yellow perch, actually. Oh, mine is not. You have a big one on? Good size. This is why we right come on. like one of the sockets. Oh, I got them all over the screen down here. All over the screen. Look at them all. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get a big one here. And you know, sometimes, Jeff, this can go on for hours. Well, let's hope that it does, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at them all. Eat it. Here he comes. Got him. <laughs> oh, New Hampshire, I like you. I'm on too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, you know, better one. Yeah. Digging. Just digging. Just digging. This doesn't get any better than this right here. No way. Just dogging. Tim, I'm telling you, from a beautiful spot to a uh, really, truly special story you have and a really special animal. I gotta thank you from, from everybody that's in the f ice fishing industry. Look at that giant. Yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> well, let's hold these up for the double. Look at that. Really, really cool. Thank you for, uh, for sharing a special bite with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. The New Hampshire white perch yeah. really 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 cool and more importantly a really awesome ice team member in tim moore thank you for sharing your story thank you so much for coming jeff it's really a pleasure <sighs> a special special place yeah. across the ice belt would like to thank all of their partners for their support in making this show possible